Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and I'm excited to show you my top 10 SharePoint intranet examples. These examples are going to prove to you that you can build fantastic looking SharePoint intranets using native out of the box SharePoint. None of the examples that I'm going to show you use any form of third party licenses or anything like that. They're completely native SharePoint. Everything you see can be completely customized and moved around within the confines of SharePoint. So if there's something that you like within one design, you can easily add it to another. So starting us off at 10, we have the Delta Airlines intranet. This is a mock-up that I produced as a way of showing a visualization of how I would mock up the intranet homepage for Delta Airlines. I really love the color palette that they use. You can see that I've got a, a very large image here with a bit of text welcoming them to the internet to tell them as a user what they could expect to see here. We've also got some latest news sliding around and some updates potentially coming from senior leadership. Further down, we've also got some really useful kind of navigational tiles, which help us navigate to some core components of our intranet, including things like support requests, handlers handbook, training guides, managers toolkits, and so much more. Nearing the bottom of the page, there's some more useful links, and I really love how this red color pops off the back of the page. And we've also got the upcoming events web part, which allows us to cycle through upcoming events, which are um, coming up in the near future. And again, it's using the kind of primary colors with a slightly darker um, sort of navy blue in the background of the events web part. This design is also using a mega menu. So there's links off to other areas of the internet, including offices. So we can break them down by the US or global offices, and you can easily navigate to those different departmental sites using this mega menu. At nine, we have a homepage layout for the Salvation Army. This is a mock-up of an internet homepage using their brand and look and feel. You can see across the top, we've got their logo, which goes really nicely with a kind of red kind of background image. Um, again, we've got kind of drop downs here of mega menus, which are linking out to core areas of that internet. There's some key links here, some useful links, which can quickly navigate them to core areas of that internet, including things like people directories, financial tools, risk management assessments, or the org chart of the organization. We've also broken down the news into categories of areas so we've got all news which will be relevant to everybody volunteer news which is obviously about volunteering and the efforts that the salvation army are doing towards that uh, and also my region so this potentially could be filtering out news based on where it is in the world that you work so say for example if i'm working in the london office then potentially this would be surfacing news articles which are related to the london office further down we're using a hero tiled layered web part to basically provide more navigation to things like Bible study materials, links off to the Salva uh, Salvation Army Mission Manager, as well as people resources, IT, policies and procedures. Um, and then also at the bottom, we've got some quick access links to um, some key information that users would be looking for and some upcoming events as well, which can easily be added into the calendar by clicking on the Add to My Calendar button. At eight, we have an internet homepage design that I refer to as The Heart. I give it this name because I feel it's the heart of the organization. It's a central point, a single source of truth that you can access all the latest information, documents, and announcements. Again, we're using Mega Menus as it's a hub site across the top to access core areas of the internet. We've got a news slider here, which is automatically scrolling through news articles, but allowing users to also cycle through themselves. I like this concept of using the quick links web part to have a how do I section, which can easily answer almost FAQs of how do I take a, um, a leave of absence, pre prepare for my new job, uh, apply for tuition benefits, whatever it is um, that the users would potentially be looking to quickly answer, you can ask it in this way. These can then link off to different pages, websites, or documents within the internet. Further down, we have this area, which I refer to as the power of three. So three columns of information, some nice images to summarize what it is, vision and values, career information, benefits potentially, um, and then some button web parts, which are then branching off into other pages of the internet. We can also do things like embed um, third-party websites or apps, including power apps onto the page. 
So say for example, you've got an expense request power app, you can embed that onto the page and users can then choose to submit brand new expense requests directly from the intranet homepage. Further down, we've got more news. So this is maybe news coming from the senior management team. We've got some events being rolled up here, as well as again, some FAQs or some useful links, maybe by topics by role or other topics. We've also got things like celebrations of work anniversaries and promotions, and also popular documents from around the organization, which is being rolled up. You can also have a call to action to maybe uh, have something like a how can we help or anonymous feedback, which you would click on it could open up a Microsoft form. At seven, we have our volunteer portal, and this is fantastic for not only nonprofits, but any organization which wants to encourage their employees to volunteer to support social initiatives. This layout uses a hero tile across the top, which is basically a welcome, and you can choose this get started to maybe branch into another page about volunteering. We've got some countdowns to some national volunteering days, some quick links here, maybe taking us off to some um, volunteer toolkits or donation portals. As well as that, we've got a bit of news about what's been going on around the volunteering space, some upcoming events, um, and some quick links again um, over here. We've also embedded the latest tweets, and this maybe is coming from the organization themselves. We've also got some um, tiles here to use as navigation to some core areas of our intranet. As well as that, we've got a little bit of text down here and maybe even some people web parts which can give us information about people to contact um, relating to a particular program or volunteering scheme. If you're enjoying this video, please do subscribe to my channel for more content. If you need any professional assistance setting up your SharePoint intranet, you can contact me via the link in the description on my YouTube channel. Also go check out some other videos which are really useful about building out SharePoint knowledge bases and other top tips for SharePoint intranets on my YouTube channel. At number six, we have a template that I built that I refer to as the Lighthouse. I like to call it this because I see it as a beacon of knowledge that people can use to direct themselves to make their day-to-day -day work life easier. This template doesn't necessarily have the, anything moving or revolving, but it does have this hero links web part, which I like the kind of colors in here, um, which adds that kind of pop of brand color to your internet homepage. Again, this is linking off to key areas, things like managers toolkits, employee feedback, as well as that we've got some useful links up here, which are a little bit more simplified. So rather than asking us questions, they are more just like buttons, things like holiday booking, office locations, expense requests, things like that. Further down, we've got things like news, uh, which is being displayed um, just as the top two news articles. We've got events which are coming up, as well as that we're using quick charts. So this could potentially show some quick sales, things like Q1 sales, Q1 support calls that we've taken um, in that quarter, uh, and, or any other information that you wanted to provide. And these are really simple and quick and easy to update. We also have some uh, countdown timers here as well. So things like product launches or upcoming events makes it much easier to promote to our organization. At five, we have our IT help desk. Now this may not necessarily be a full intranet in itself, but it could be used as a branch off or sub area of your existing intranet to help employees with their IT support requests. I like the simplistic design with a lot of kind of white space in the background as it helps the kind of primary color of this blue really stand out off the page. We've got some key information here and, and actions like submitting a new ticket, viewing the status of your ticket or alerts and known issues that people might want to look at before raising their own support ticket. We've got some other links uh, are over here which are a bit more visual with images. We have a call to action web part which is basically allowing us to navigate to either a page or a hyperlink. Further down, we've got some um, self-help resources. So these are tiles which are taking through to key pages of information, things like resetting passwords and connecting to VPNs, and also some frequently asked questions that people can be pointed towards before raising their own support ticket. There's also things like get help during IT office hours, which essentially you could list some events in here um, of sort of training, support guidance, or maybe even when there's some planned outages of some IT support um, uh, technologies also meet your team so this could be a list of people to contact around specific IT um, questions and things like that at four we have our human resources SharePoint site template I should have mentioned that take all of these with a pinch of salt you don't have to use the layout for say like 
a human resources site in the same way you don't have to use the previous one for an IT support site you could use them for whatever you like this is just a bit of food for thought but this is a human resources site template and you can see we've got some large tiles across the top we've got a secondary content area on the right hand side we've got this how do I kind of questions FAQs answering here again we've also got some key buttons which are taking us off to some core things that we expect people navigating into human resources site would want to easily access We've got, again, this kind of power of three, compensation, career, benefits, information. We've got some news further down. So this could be news that's broken out by location. So whether it's from the London office, New York, um, things like that. Most recent documents that have been uploaded or relevant to people. Um, and again, um, some interesting other topics um, by role, by um, sort of job type, department, or functional area of the business. At three, we have a site design that I refer to as one place, as in it's one place to find all the information that you need as part of your day-to-day -day job. One place is using the carousel banner across the top again, which allowing users to slide between different news articles. We also have a countdown here. So for this particular organization, they were launching uh, new products and then allowing their employees to be aware of new products that are being launched um, to know what's going on with their colleagues, but also what they can expect to see in the media being presented outwards as well. We've also got different news here. So we've got news based on department and we also have news based on country. So we could audience target this to only show news articles based on the department that you're in and the country that you're in. You can also see that this template would be used by an enterprise level organization, which might have offices in multiple locations with different time zones. Further down, you can also use things like my frequent sites, so core areas of SharePoint that you're frequently accessing, or recommendations of content. And this is all driven um, by sort of algorithms which understand what you're using inside of SharePoint and presenting this content back. I also really like this kind of grid of um, call to action web parts, which helps people to navigate to core areas of the internet. Then at two, we have our learning and development portal. This is a fantastic location to point people towards training materials, things like leadership courses, career development, um, any additional resources or updates from that particular department can be pushed through here. Potentially news um, sort of about the learning center, what exams are coming up and um, different schemes which are available. Upcoming events or any training that people might want to book onto or be aware of can be cycled through an events web part like this. And also just being aware of the kind of commitment of the learning and conserving elements of the organization. You could potentially put a bit of a, um, a sort of mission statement for this particular uh, department of what um, they're trying to achieve. Across the top, you might have different courses that are available to people, learning new skills, remote learning, learning a new language, whatever it uh, might be. You could have some links across the top to easily branch out to core courses and training materials. Then at number one, we have a site template that I've created, I refer to as the bank. I refer to this as I think of it as a bank of knowledge, but also I've also poached the color scheme and, and color palettes from a very well-known high street bank, because um, I really like their kind of colors um, and sort of branding. So with this, again, we've got these large tiles across the top. We have this um, area on the right-hand side, but I've put in here um, local weather, um, potentially, um, for, for those employees. We can see my news, which again could be broken down by um, where I am in the world, my job title, or department that I work in. We've also got some wider news here, so this is always going to show the latest news article on the top left, and as news uh, comes along, this will slide along like this, and then down the, this right-hand side, so eventually it falls off the page. We also have uh, my recent documents um, as well as that we have um, call to actions here um, and some as I say power of three where we could have potential little videos embedded into the page learn more buttons linking us off somewhere else um, recent sites um, and company events here as well with a final call to action maybe if you're promoting a conference which is coming up that you're wanting to promote to all employees they could click on that to register and sign up please subscribe to my channel for more future SharePoint content.